We built a 10 foot long, three seater, three engine mini bike, and in today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we're taking it for its first and only send because it proves to be the most dangerous mini bike we've ever built. In the last episode of the series, we took it for a preliminary test drive with all three of us, and we only made it a few hundred feet before the rear chain ejecto sedoed. Well, we made a custom chain guard just for the rear, and we are ready for a proper send. So first, we're gonna let Ike ride it around the yard and get used to it, and then send him around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix by himself to see what a 30 horsepower mini bike can put down. And then we're all three gonna go for a ride, and, uh, see what kind of lap time we can put down with all three of us on it. One final thing, today's episode is sponsored by Upstart. More on them later. Let's get Ike some seat time. This thing is, uh, the power is just pretty good. The uh, drifts are pretty manageable. Uh, we do need to tighten up these handlebars here because uh -oh. they did fold forward. <gasps> okay. So I got to tighten those up because I was having trouble. All right, I'll go get a 10. All right. And uh, a 12 or 13 for the nuts. So from my perspective, an outsider, it sounds like you're just giving putting around RPM. Uh-huh except the wheel is just instantly getting destroyed. Right. I'm not gagging it straight out of the hole. I'm just kind of rolling on it. But I was I was about giving it full throttle and it's still got the governors and all of them. Yeah. So this thing has the juice, man. Can, can you loosen them? I got to move it over. We oh, built okay. a drifting mini bike. Yeah. As soon as those handlebars get tightened down, Ike is going to line up for a Grand Prix lap. Let's take a look and see what the times are to beat. We've got a lot of things going on around the clock, from new builds to finishing up the new shop. We just had heat and air installed in the new shop, and we're building a new lean-to off the old shop uh, as well. And the company card is always taking the heat, which brings us to today's video sponsor, Upstart. It can be discouraging if you have more than one credit card balance each month and you are paying only the minimums, barely making a dent in your credit card debt. Well, Upstart can help you pay off your existing debt quickly, and you can finally feel like you are getting ahead. From paying off credit cards, to consolidating high interest debt, to funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get a single fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Upstart knows that you are more than just your credit score. So rather than looking at only your credit score, Upstart's model takes into account other factors such as your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application so they can find a better rate for your specific loan. You can check your rate without affecting your credit score in just five minutes for loans between one to $50,000. You can even receive funds as soon as one business day after accepting your loan. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash cars and cameras or click the link in the description below. That's upstart.com slash cars and cameras. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Go to upstart.com slash cars and cameras. Thank you again to Upstart. Now let's get back to the video. So currently the only mini bike on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix Top 10 leaderboard is our MB200 powered by a built Tillotson 225cc engine. This bike is seriously set up for racing. We made second place in the first ever Go Power Sports 180 a few months ago. Other than that, down in 12th place, we have the Dirt Hog Tillotson 212 with a 10702. The three engine bike certainly wasn't built to carve a racetrack, but we're going to see what happens.
might be the name of that bike, Hang Loose. The danger factor on that, that was a respectable lap time. Is that He's going again, Ike! Right? Okay. <laughs> um, I have a little trouble. What's up? My legs are a little big. Is he using foot peg using position middle, too? Middle peg, so he could keep his knees out of the handlebars. That's funny. That's what he was saying. He said he couldn't get his knee was in the way. The brakes don't work if you hit the gas. Got a little bit of dirt in there. Yeah. So I ran the second run with my feet back here, which did a little bit better. But whenever I went to lean in and throw my leg out, I couldn't get it. Oh, your foot hit the ground first. Yeah. Oh. So there was just a whole lot of mess ups. You know, I'm gonna say that my time was like a 115. So. Okay. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't tell these. You ran a one. Yes. Oh. Really? Six. No. Ninety-three. It's faster than the dirt hog. Oh man. It does have three times the horsepower. Uh, I got two bolts. They might still be back there. I feel it right there. Oh boy. Right there. I bet you if you measure it, it'll be the exact. Uh, like so, width of the risers on the handlebars behind me. So the bike gave you butt dimples? It gave me butt dimples. Oh boy. <laughs> so it was a rough ride, but we didn't build this thing to put on the Grand Prix. We built it kind of for the drag strip. Kind of for the drag strip, but like just basically three friends wanting to go out for a ride all at the same time. And speaking of that, that's what's up next. We're all gonna hop on the Hang Loose Triple Threat Mini Bike for a cold lap to see what we can do. All right, I got one simple rule, okay? This is coming from years of riding motorcycles. Please guys, do not lean. Do not go, oh, what a cool squirrel and do that. I want y'all to stay- Stay upright. Stay upright. Okay. Because I'm gonna be doing all the leaning and stuff, okay? All right. Yes, sir. I had a girlfriend that liked to like look around and stuff, and there was so many times I almost laid that bike down <laughs> because she'd be like, "Oh," and then all of a sudden the bike would, yeah. So, um, okay. now I got her to lean with me though. So it's either pick one is what you're telling us. I'm. I think we should stay straight, straight up. How about we try sitting straight up first, and if I'm like no that's not going to work then y'all just kind of lean with me okay all y'all's movements will be slow leaning with me yeah. if like I, minimal if that's it. like if he goes this far we go just a like a, a little bit yeah more. Okay. yeah why don't we just ratchet strap ourselves together <laughs> we're not close enough together <laughs>
It's hard to describe the feeling of rioting in the middle or on the back of this mini bike. You have no control, but not like in an amusement park kind of way. The driver is in charge and is doing most of the leaning, but as the bike turns, accelerates, and brakes, the rear two riders are always slightly shifting their weight uncontrollably, which is enough to constantly upset the balance of the bike. The hot lap we do next exemplifies this effect, and it is terrifying. ever done. The 670 go-kart was not as frightening. Let's I've ridden a go-kart with a Ducati motor on it. I've ridden a go-kart with 125 horsepower snowmobile engine on it. I've gone 85 miles an hour on some crap we built in my parents' garage. This was the scariest thing I've ever done. All right, first off, who's going to drive us all to the hospital? Second, when we get to the hospital, they're going to laugh at us because it's like, how did you guys get hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to tell them. Oh, we built a three-person mini bike. Yeah. Was it that bad? Yeah. Was it was. That was the scariest two minutes or whatever of my life. <laughs> I got no problem with riding on the back or the middle. In fact, I want to. Okay. Who wants to drive next? Uh -huh. I don't know if I trust myself. So that was a lot of responsibility up front. To not. John's thinking about it. To no. not hurt your friends. John what? is thinking about how to tell you to walk, what? take a hike. I can understand how it can be scary since y'all have 100% no control yes. whatsoever. Yeah. Well, because you feel the bike lean yeah. and go and accelerate yeah. and stop, and you you have nothing. I just I want to do. ride. Like, okay, so if so, if not all three of us will ride, how about if I ride on the back and someone else drives, and just two of us. I guess at least someone can drive us to the hospital. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to know what it feels like to have no control. Okay. I'll drive. Ah! <laughs>
Oh boy. isn't it it is terrifying it is so scary that is uh no joke one of the scariest things i've ever done is sit in the back in this thing or in the middle oh yeah i sat you gotta Smart. sit in the back yeah it's moving yeah <laughs> the acceleration on this thing is, it is sick it is really fast <laughs> we just need to get some more rpms and stuff and this thing will make a great drag bike. oh it's gonna be so yeah and this is the first time i've ever driven this with ike on the back it rides really funny I, well i mean I, you were doing a lot of wobbling and stuff yeah and, and this was the first time he rode it like he didn't ride it by himself yep and he hadn't done any drifts yet so i think well, you go take i think i think you need to do a couple drifts different. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take it for a spin, dude. I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'm glad you survived. Yeah, thank you. That was, it was a good experience. But, but never it's again. so <laughs> terrifying having no control whatsoever. Okay, so are we saying the back two seats and handlebars are coming off now? I think it's a lay down bike now. Okay. If you put a seat in the back of that thing with steering hook, it'll be awesome. It might do wheelies. It might. I think he's done. He's done. Oh, broken tailbone. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no. So bad. Oh. Yeah, I told you. I got two marks right back yeah. there. Oh. I got butt dimples. <laughs> so if we move to maybe this position. Oh my gosh. And drive it like a car? Oh. Okay. Holy Hold cow. on. This is it. I think that's it. This is it. Do you want to try to ride it right now? Oh I'll try to ride gosh! It right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, I'll give it a shot. That's a that's a serious face right there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty dumb. The gearing is a little on the tall side, which might be great for the drag strip. Man? Yeah. You look like white trash Superman laid out on that thing. I felt oh, like it. Hey, your front throttle cable pulled in. You didn't have you didn't have engine number one. Are you serious? It pulled the sheathing in on that one and that one. Are you serious? And this one. So all three of them were about 10% throttle. Well, we have ideas uh, for the three engine mini bike. Let us know in the comments what you think we should do with it, but I'm not gonna be riding in the middle or on the back anymore. That was the scariest darn thing I've ever done. You felt safer on the front, didn't 100 you? 100% safer yeah. on the front. Leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content, everybody. Subscribe for more wacky builds here from Cars and Cameras, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Let me just tell you, we are absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of awesome stickers that you guys gave us. I really want to thank you. I like stickers. Now let's get to sticker bombing this bucket. Come on. I'll take you along. So we got a big old pile of stickers and I've never sticker bombed anything before. So you guys are gonna go along with me. So I guess we can start with this one because it eh, actually it matches the bucket. I don't know. Well, you know what? I guess there's really no exact way of doing this. So you just apply.
What do you think of the sticker box? Yeah. I think it looks good. Oh yeah, it looks good. It's kind of hard. It it's not it's not something that there's really a a right or wrong way to do it. Do we have enough bucket for the stickers? I don't think so. I grabbed all the the ones that they sent us doubles and triples of. Yeah. I grabbed one of each. Right. And I've basically just filled it up. So if we we've got plenty of buckets that we could use the rest of the stickers on. But I I said for them to keep sending them if they want. I don't know if we're allowed, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, the whole roof of my square body above me is all filled with stickers. So, if you guys want to send me some, you ain't got enough roof in that truck. It's already it is over half full. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh my god, I'll take more. Yeah.